Welcome back to another tutorial of Hello Reaper 1G. Now it's about basic sync to picture. So uh, maybe you've realized already that we have uh, the sentence we, we've been working on in tutorial 1F. It's the same than uh, in the film file. So what we're going to do now is sync this, uh, this item to, to the film. First, I want to get rid of some uh, overhead here uh, and I'll show you how to get rid of the, the markers first by pressing Option. I can delete those. Then uh, I select pressing Control, so right click, I get rid of those items. I'm gonna work with those two here. I put it back to, to my film start at, at one hour and first of all I... It's not correct yet. There it is. So what I'm gonna do now is I set my first marker here. So I press uh, Shift M and that's, that's my first frame of action. FFOA or video start, whatever. And of course, now I need my soundtrack to find the, the correct spot I need to sync. So I press the item, I go with command F2 in the video file item properties, I deselect, ignore audio, and I have my audio back. I first need to check where I need to put my voice to. Uh, I soloed my video and this more or less looks like music. Thy soul. There is text. Thy soul. Thy soul. So I put a marker here. Shift M start voice. That's my first marker or my second marker here. And now what I do next is I listen to the track. Thy soul shall find itself alone. Looks good. I select the part I want to keep up here. Command T. And now I put it here for a rough sync. I go back in my video track. Thy soul shall find itself alone mid dark thoughts of the grey tombstone. So I think the tombstone is maybe a good place to show because that part here Tombstone. will be the same as here. Tombstone. Now I have a, a very important shortcut for you again and that's comma and point. What does it do? It moves my media item clip in the grid and my grid is set to frames that's why when i when i perform now several commas or points i can move my audio around so i jump back in here and check again tombstone Tombstone. Tombstone. There it is. So maybe one more frame. A tombstone. It's not correct yet. A tombstone. A tombstone. 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 There it is. So one more frame. It should be correct. A tombstone. Not one of all the crowd to pry into thine hour of secrecy. 
And that's something you need to do very, very often. For example, let's go through the film. We have this door here. Huh? So maybe you have a Foley. Let's listen to it. And you need to sink the, the creaking to the door. Then you would go through the film check where is my door there's also a shortcut for that which is left and right scrubs through your film in frame mode There it is, there's the opening. So I would start the creaking here huh? and put a marker as well. So that's my door. And that's usually how I go through the whole film, especially when there's a lot of uh, sync points like footsteps or uh, prop handling or I don't know, explosions or stuff like that. I go through, I mark everything through so I can easily sync up to those sync points. If you use the period and the comma, mm -hmm. how do you define how much it moves then? Okay, that's uh, an interesting question. Oh, I think if you press N, then you will get there. There it is. It's the notch set items dialog. And so right now we are in frame mode, which we will stay. At I can also choose uh, 24 frames. And now when I perform the action, it moves whole seconds. Hmm. What I sometimes do, I, I go to point 0.5, for example. Then I know uh, I'm not notching a frame, only half a frame, which is sometimes handy when when uh, things are are not completely correct in the file. Of course, you can also still press Option and move the audio within the item without moving the item itself, only by moving the audio in the item. That's also quite handy to, to sync. Okay, uh, snapping is a function implemented in your editing behavior. And you see it up here, that's the snap dialog. Snap dialog means when I move my items, it will always snap at the moment relative to the grid, but I can also go into grid mode. So not, not relative to the grid. I need to show you this. It's the snap grid settings. You get it, of course, by uh, right clicking. And at the moment it's, it's, it's set to snap relative to grid. When I deselect it, also the, the button changes, changes here. So when I do it now, it will snap to the grid. Press shift and move your items without having to worry about the grid. It's sometimes handy because uh, usually you need to be really on the on the frame where the image changes you need to place the sound so don't be uh, half a frame late or early try to do it as accurate as possible in the in some further tutorials you will be able to exercise this i can deselect the snap to grid by pressing option s Yes, this selects the snap to grid. So at the moment it's selected option S and now I'm not moving the audio within the item, but I'm moving the item itself. Either way works well. I personally don't work a lot with uh, move audio within the item. 
I prefer uh, turning off the, s the grid, turning off the snap to grid and uh, work like that. So thanks a lot. That was tutorial 1G, basic sync to picture. We'll continue with, uh, we're already at 2A, that's cool. So we will jump into Hello Intensified. Exercise, editing and syncing a voice will be our next tutorial. Thanks a lot.